What is up guys? Back in South Carolina. I want to make a quick video here. Traveled all night. Uh, well, most of the night. Got to spend some good quality time with my family. Uh, in that time, I was able to finally read an essay by Paul Graham. It's called How to Do Great Work. And I think it's an incredibly great read. Uh, it's longer uh, for an essay that's just posted online. But the topics it, co it covers is it's fascinating. I wish I had found this article like 10 years ago. But ultimately, it's you know written particularly for ambitious people, but for those that want to accomplish great things. And it's a good synopsis or summary of what that looks like and how to pursue it in a way that's the most effective. Throughout the article, I took notes on my thoughts and, and how this really applies to me. I think, and what I want to try to accomplish. And one of the big key topics of the article is, you know, where you choose your work. And one of the areas that I'm choosing is in communication. And I think that it's important to understand why communication is so important. Uh, in a general sense, I think that it is because communication is how you interact with the world. So no matter how good you yourself can get through self-improvement and through growth and the pursuit of knowledge and the pursuit of excellence and exercise and nutrition and taking care of yourself, and you might be 100% great or 1,000% great. But from there, you still have to interact with the world. And that's different subsets. You know, sometimes it's your small subset that you've made of your family and friends. Oftentimes you have coworkers in there. And just however big this is, you still have to interact with them and interacting in the most effective way. I also think that there's some other bits that I'm starting to uncover the more I look into it further, the more I study it further, the more I write about it further. Bits that I didn't even realize that I think were a benefit. And bits that I think that have been helpful for me specifically. This says, you know, you get into it, I think that one of the big reasons that I pursue improving communication is because I failed so many times in communicating effectively. And I think it's cost relationships, friendships, and significant others. And I think relationships with your family, with my family. Um, I think that I've probably been less successful over time. I've been fairly successful, but I could have been more successful with a better ability to communicate. But being an engineer when I started, it wasn't really that big of a necessity. And my one communication style made me, when it enabled me to get so far, right, before I ever had to evolve. But in that, I think that there was a lot of elements, and specifically, you know, going through a hard time probably about four or five years ago, is understanding how much you can learn in communicating with others. And how little you can learn in a vacuum. The aspect is, is that like you kind of have to test some of these things out and validate your perspectives. Otherwise you live in this world that's not real. It's pretty much virtual. You create it yourself. And it's also, I think, very difficult to know yourself before you really communicate it and find out how much you truly believe the things that you have in your head until you try to articulate them and share them with others and really understand what it is about your perspective that you believe in and have conviction in. When you have to communicate that or when you choose to communicate that with others, oftentimes it becomes a lot more real and you can firm it up or you can understand that you don't maybe believe in something and the way that you think is maybe a little bit flawed and that by changing perspectives, you can be a little bit better off. Additionally, there's an element of communication that's human psychology. It's understanding your audience. It's understanding the people that you, everyone else in the world, effectively. It helps you understand a little bit about how you work. And primarily, it helps you understand how other people work. So all of these facets, I think, are incredibly useful to you and incredibly helpful. And there's a lot of stability that can be found in communicating learning more about yourself, learning more about other people. It, it gives you a more fully fleshed and appreciable 
viewpoint of the world. Not only that, but also I think it helps you be more effective and it makes you, it helps you have healthier relationships. It helps you be more confident. It helps you be more successful at work. In pretty much every regard, you're trying to communicate with the world in one way, shape, or form, either a single individual or group of people. And every interaction, therefore, is founded on communication and your ability to communicate with others. It's this skill that's exercised every day, but often underappreciated and probably not improved upon in most cases. I found a lot of value in studying it and trying to, and working to improve it. And I find it incredibly fascinating. I think there's a lot that could be said there because I don't think that it's taught in the school systems. I think that it's more wax on, wax off, and hopefully you'll gain some communication skills. And so we're thrust into the world with ill-equipped to, to handle conversations um, from the basic ones all the way up to the most difficult ones. And so I think there's a lot of value in that in creating frameworks that are very useful for improving communication, for helping jumpstart that for people like me or other people that might find it useful. I think there's all sorts of different subsets of the world that probably need this. And I don't think it's limited by pretty much anything. Everybody in the world will communicate with other people and improving that either by talking or writing or all the different forms that you can communicate in, I think it's incredibly worthwhile. I think that our ability to be successful as a, a species, in a sense, is relying upon that. Innovation and improvement is driven by robust and honest dialogue. Like, so while it's also important for you as an individual to figure, figure out the best way to communicate and present your authentic true self and develop who that is, it's also important for us to pursue ideas and counter ideas and challenge the ideas out in the world for science, for improvement, for the next thing that we need to unlock, for technology. Pretty much in every regard, it takes uncomfortable conversations, most likely, that will help us drive to the next level, whether it be you as an individual in a relationship or in an organization or within a group of like-minded people and trying to drive a movement or change. It pretty much is the root of all, all interactions, especially if you include just behavioral communication, which is what the information that you give off just by the way that you act and behave. So these are all the things that I thought about and what I view as important for communication Really, it's the things I wish I knew 10 years ago because I would probably have had less failures. I would never change anything that got me here, but having the skills now, I think, is something I want to give to other people to shorten their learning curve. Hopefully find that interesting. At the minimum, go check out the article or the essay, How to Do Great Work by Paul Graham. You can't lose if you don't quit.